Hello all welcome to our channel so today we are doing geography of class 7 chapter our changing earth so in this chapter we learn about lithosphere plates the movement of these plates beneath the surface of the earth and you will read about the various types of forces that causes these plates to move and also you learn different kind of landforms work of a river work of a sea waves and a lot more so now let's see the exercise of this chapter your first question is answer the following questions the first part is why do the plates move your answer will be the lithospheric plates move around because of the movement of a molten magma inside the earth now the second part what are the exogenic and endogenic forces answer is earth's movement are divided on the basis of the forces which cause them The ones that work on the earth surface are called exogenic forces while the ones that work in the earth's interior are called endogenic forces. The erosional and depositional activities of wind and water are example of exogenic forces and earthquake and volcanoes are the examples of endogenic forces. Now the third what is erosion? Your answer is erosion is a weathering and or wearing away of the landscape by different agents like wind, water and ice. And now the fourth question is how are flood plains formed? So your answer is during its course through a plain a river sometimes overflow its banks. This leads to the flooding of a neighborhood areas. as it floods the river water deposits layer of fine soil and sediments on its bank this leads to the formation of a flat fertile flood plain now the fifth question what are sand dunes your answer will be in desert when wind blows it lifts and transports sand from one place to another when it stop blowing the sand particles fall and get deposit in low like structure called sand dunes now the next question is how are beaches formed so your answer will be the erosional and depositional activities of sea waves give rise to different coastal landforms and beach is one of the coastal landform it is formed when the sea waves deposits sediments along the shore Now the last question what are the oxbow lake so your answer will be an oxbow lake is a crescent shaped lake formed by meandering river during its journey through a plain a river twists and turns to form meanders erosion and deposition occurs constantly along the side of the meander thereby causing the end of its loop to come closer and closer in due course of time the meander loop cuts from the river and forms a cut off in shape oxbow lake now your second question is take the correct answer first part is which is not an erosional feature of a sea wave first is cliff second is beach and c is sea cave your correct answer is beach now the second part is the depositional feature of a glacier is a flood plain b beach or c moraine so correct answer is c moraine now the third one is which is caused by the sudden movement of the earth A volcano, B folding, C flood plain. So your answer is A volcano. Uh, fourth is mushroom rocks are found in A desert, B river valleys, C glacier. So your answer is A desert. And fifth is oxbow lakes are found in glaciers, river valleys or desert. So your answer will be river valleys. Now coming towards the third question, which is match the following. So you can see the box right here your correct answer will be first glacier will be connected to sea river of ice and meanders will be connected to rivers which is d and third beach will be connected to a seashore uh, fourth sand dunes will be connected to h deserts fifth will be waterfall and it will be connected to g hard bed rocks and then earthquake which will be connected to vibration of earth now fourth question which is give reason a is some rocks have a shape of a mushroom i'll declare the answer first uh, first part uh, in desert one can see rock in the shape of a mushroom which with a narrower base and a wider top these are known as mushroom rocks 
Such rocks are formed when the wind erodes the lower section of the rock more than the upper part. Now the second is flood plains are very fertile. Your answer will be flood plains are formed as a result of a depositional activity of rivers. River carry along with them erodes material like fine soils and sediments. When it overflows its banks, it deposits the eroded material and causes flood plains to be formed. The deposited material makes the land fertile. Now, the third one is sea caves are turned into stacks. So your answer will be stacks are formed as a result of erosional activity of a sea waves. When sea waves continuously strike rocks, cracks develop in them. As these cracks become larger and wider, hollow caves get formed on the rock. These are called sea caves. As the waves keep striking the rocks, the cavities become bigger and bigger. With the only the roof remaining at the end, such structures are known as the sea arches. Further erosion breaks the roof and only wall remains. These wall-like features are known as stacks. The sea caves are ultimately converted into stacks. Now the last part building collapses due to earthquake. So the answer will be earthquake are the sudden vibration caused within the earth surface as a result of the movement of the lithospheric plates. Such vibration when uh, they are of a high intensity cause damage to the things on earth surface. Various human made and natural constructions can break down and collapse under the effect of vibration because they are situated on the earth surface. So coming towards the fifth question which is observe the photograph given below these are the various features made by a river identify them and also tell whether they are erosional or depositional or landforms formed by both so you can see the picture right here your answer will be first photograph name of the feature is waterfall and type of erosional depositional or both will be erosional the second picture is name of the feature is minder and type is erosional and depositional third picture is flood plains and it will be depositional so the sixth question is let's solve the crossword puzzle with the help of a given clues you can see the rest of the question right here in the screen and your answer will be cross second is minder and i'll be dictating the first cross one fourth across is ice and then seventh across is glacier ninth across is uh, waterfall and then uh, 11th across is caves 12th across is leaf and then 13th across is sea 14th across is desert and 15th across is sand dunes 16th across is flood plains now the down part First down is waves, third down is river, fifth down is cliff, and then uh, your sixth. Sixth down is moraine, eighth down is oxbow lake, ten down is loess, thirteen down is stack, fourteen down is delta. So guys, this was the exercise of this chapter. If you have any doubt or any query, you can tell us in the comment section, and we'll be coming up with the next chapter for that. You have to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified every time. We'll be meeting soon. Till then, bye bye.